Watch out, Apple. We've seen the future, and it doesn't look like an iPhone. Samsung's Galaxy S8 marks the beginning of a new generation of smartphone design, waving goodbye to unwieldy bezels. But it's not just about being pretty. The S8 also offers blazing performance and an ambitious new virtual assistant. At Tom's Guide and Perch Labs, we test dozens of smartphones every year to help you find the right handset at the right price. Coming in three colors, silver, gray, and black, the Galaxy S8 feels like an exquisitely crafted space rock in your hand. The Gorilla Glass panels on front and back taper down to smooth, rounded edges, with the inside of the Infinity display gently curved to match. On the bottom sits a new virtual home button that delivers haptic feedback, and you can actually adjust which button goes where. We love the big and beautiful AMOLED display, which is brighter and more colorful than anything we've ever seen on a phone. Some apps don't take advantage of the extra wide aspect ratio, but videos look amazing on this HDR ready panel. The 5.8 inch S8 starts at 750, while the 6.2 inch S8 Plus runs a whopping 850. That's $100 more than last year's models. With that gorgeous screen gobbling up the whole front of the phone, Samsung had to move the fingerprint sensor to the back, right next to the camera. It's an awkward solution and bound to cause some smudged pics. However, you can skip the fingerprint sensor altogether and use your eyes or even your ugly mug to unlock the phone. The Galaxy S8 has brawn to match its beauty, packing the latest Snapdragon 835 chip. Buckle your seatbelts because this beast can fly. On benchmarks, it's almost 50% faster than other speedy Android phones, leaving them in the dust. And in real life performance, regardless of whether you're playing a game or using multi-window mode, the S8 didn't disappoint. What else can you do with all this power? When paired with Samsung's optional deck stock, the S8 can even transform into a mini PC, complete with mouse, keyboard, and full HD monitor support. Even better is the Snapdragon 835's improved energy efficiency. Despite having a smaller battery than the S7 Edge, the S8 Plus lasted a full hour longer than its predecessor. It also has a new streamlined user interface called Samsung Experience. While not quite stock Android, it's a refreshingly stripped down look for a company whose past phones often felt bloated. Samsung's new flagship sports a sharper selfie cam up front and what seems to be the same camera as the S7 in the back. The S8 is definitely a better shooter though, despite lacking a dual camera setup like the iPhone 7 Plus or LG G6. Samsung's latest software tweaks include multi-frame image processing, capturing multiple shots at once and combining them into a vivid image. Bixby, Samsung's virtual assistant, still needs some work, to say the least. Voice control isn't even functional at launch, and Bixby Vision, which uses the camera for visual searches, was hit or miss. Still, the shopping tool can be impressive, and the wine identifier is pretty cool, even if it is a niche app. Despite a few drawbacks, the Galaxy S8 has reclaimed the throne as the best Android phone, with its exquisite design, superior display, and top-notch performance. Once you pick it up, you won't want to put it down. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.